If you're looking for healthier rice options, this video is for you. Let's take a look at different kinds of rice and how they look like before and how they look like after, why they're different. So this is plain old white rice. It actually has no germ, no bran, rice germ or rice bran, which is the outside and the inside. So it just looks white. The nutritional content is not really there, but it does taste quite good with almost everything. So that is the plain white rice. And then we get to, let's go with the brown rice. People are probably familiar with white rice and brown rice. So this one has the rice bran and germ, which is on the outside and the inside, like I said. So it is nuttier, it is chewier, and people probably don't think it tastes as good because it has um, a brown rice taste to it, right? So um, like my husband would say, I don't want brown rice with curry, more of a white rice with curry. So now we have kind of the in-between, and this is called hygamite. I've mentioned this before, but I like it because there's the nutritional content of brown rice, but it tastes like white rice almost. It is because there is the rice germ still inside, but the bran has been removed. So now the, the texture is similar to white rice, um, but it has more nutritional content. That's why I like this as kind of like a white rice default or substitute. Uh, it does tend to be more expensive, but I think it's worth investing in your health. So that is my personal opinion. This is Hygamite. And then just to add some uh, additional context, this is mochigome or sweet glutinous rice. So if you're going to make mochi, if you're going to make um, takikomi gohan, you want to add some of this because it adds a very different texture. It is more glutinous. So I know I said chewy for the brown rice. Maybe I should say more of a bite to it um, because this one does definitely make it a little chewier, more like in the mochi contest of chewy. So you can see the, the grains are uh, shorter, fatter, it visually looks different, but that is your mochi rice. Now let's cook these up and see what they look like when they are cooked because they do look different cooked as well. So I've showed you this before, but these are the differences like I showed you visually. White rice has none of the layers, brown rice has both of the layers, and cooking, quick cooking brown rice and haiga rice are kind of in between. This one has a dotted line. I'm actually not quite sure what that means. I might have to go look it up. If you know, let me know. But this one has none of the outside. The bran layer has been removed, but the germ still remains intact. We are back with cooked rice. So I don't know if you can tell the difference just by looking at this, but let me show you what the difference is. I put them in the same colors so that you know when you refer back which ones looked like the original uncooked grains. So this is the white rice. As you can see, it looks very plain white rice, just like any other white rice that you've probably cooked before. Now, if you compare that side by side with the haiga rice, this is the haiga rice. Do you see those little fibrous looking pieces? Yeah, because the rice bran layer is still there. The outside, the germ is gone, but can you see there are little grains? fibery looking things. I'll just kind of poke around with my hands, but it looks different, right? It has some of the brown parts in there. So that is a lot more nutritious than this one, which has nothing. It just looks very plain white. Okay. In comparison, here is the brown and I have a rice piece stuck to my hand. This is the brown and uh, for transparency purposes, this is quick cooking brown. So it still has a little bit of the layer missing, um, but you can tell it is brown, it looks different, it looks um, more fibrous, even more. But you see the same lines if you compare it with the Haigamai. It has some of those similar lines. The Haigamai just has a little bit less that is clearly visible to the eye. So this is what brown quick cooking rice looks like. This is the Haigamai. This is the Nishiki Haigamai that I'm using. And then this is the plain white rice. So on a regular basis, like I've mentioned before, this is the one I default to. Sometimes I mix these two together, 
Sometimes I do this separately. It's all just dependent on what you want. And they're all delicious, in my opinion. I know some people have opinions about brown rice, brown rice, but what would you choose? Let me know in the comments. If this video was of value to you, I would love for you to subscribe and continue on with us on our journey. Be sure to check out the other Japanese cooking videos, and I'll see you in the next video.